Wagner delivers. Line toward the gap in left center field. That's a base hit for Vidro. Beltron cuts it off. Vidro trying for two. The throw by Beltron. The slide out of the ball game is over. Carlos Beltron guns down Jose Vidro. Try to stretch a single into a double. That's the final out of the game. Billy Wagner saves it. And the Mets have a one run victory for Tom Glavin on opening day. Well, that's a way to end it. Defense, defense, defense has won this ball game today for the Mets. Two fine plays in the field at critical points in the game. Just a perfect throw by Beltran, one hop, and there's the reaction of Willie Randolph. Fundamentals, defense. And Beltran guns down Vidro trying to get that tying run to scoring position in the ninth. Alfonso leans away, the one-two, and Millage gives it a ride. Back goes Ellison at the wall. We are all tied up. Lastings Millage, his first major league home run. And the Mets have done it again. More late inning dramatics. He turned a 96 mile an hour fastball around. And Benitez has given up two gopher balls in the 10. Well, the catcher wanted it away and he put it right down the pipe. And that is extremely clutch by that young man. Sixteenth inning, two two to Beltron. Ripped in the air to deep right field. Abreu looks up, and we're going home. Beltron with a home run, wins it for the Mets in the bottom of the sixteenth inning. At 12:33 a.m., Carlos Beltron ends the Mets' longest game in 11 years with a walk-off home run, his 12th of the year, and you betcha they're happy. <laughs> It took them nearly five and a half hours, but the Mets win it in 16 innings. They take a four game lead over the Phillies and the Carlos Beltran ends this one with his 12th home run of the year. And the Mets send what was left of a crowd of better than 28,000 and everybody else involved home very happy. And who could be happier than Paul Duca who caught all 16 <laughs> innings? To center field and deep. Kemp going back to the warning track near the wall and it's off the fence and Reyes is flying. He could go all the way. He's being waved around third. The ball picked up by Ethier. Reyes scores easily with an inside the park home run. See what's happened to him. Reyes lifts one to deep right center field. Kern's going back, and it's out of here. Jose Reyes leads off the bottom of the first inning with his seventh home run of the year, and the Mets have tied the game at one and one. Now the Mets have owned the first inning this year. And after giving up an unearned run at the top, Reyes gets it right back. Well, it's just the fastball sinker and didn't get it away enough. Let's look at the catcher's glove. Uh, he threw it right on the outside corner where he was set up. He's on a pace for 67 walks. And he rips this one to deep right, and it's over Curz's head. Reyes heading for second, and he'll settle for a two-base hit. Reyes right now is looking like he just can't be stopped. A nine game hitting streak in eight of the nine he's had two or more hits Eighteen games he's had ten doubles and now up among the league leaders and he hits this one to deep right center Kearns back 
Can't get it. Um, and Reyes will easily get to third. And he's in standing with a three base hit. And he's just a single away from a cycle. A ball that Kearns probably should have caught, but he didn't. He just missed this, Gary. Look. My goodness, he's got to catch that ball. Well, Reyes hustling so Reyes. all the way. And when he gets going, you know it's three. Well, he's got all the hard parts out of the way. Double, triple, and home run. Mets' last cycle was by Eric Valent in Montreal a couple of years ago. Through the middle, base hit. And Reyes has hit for the cycle. Jose Reyes, the ninth Met in their 45 year history to hit for the cycle, and they'll take the baseball out of play. And I have never seen this ballpark so excited. Nine cycles in Mets history, only the third at Shea. Tommy Agee, John Olerud, and now Jose Reyes. He's last of the fourth. That ball against the wind. Way back there. Cabrera. It's gone. A three run homer for Delgado. to left field you can forget about it off into the night over everything out into the streets of New York what a shot four to two the Mets lead John Marshall is in a jam here facing the veteran Cliff Floyd. Back in left field. And that's a home run. A grand slam for Cliff Floyd. Up into the wind and into the basket. And four score. The Mets have gone ahead six to five. That's a perfect example of a good swing right there when the ball's away from you. See, he never rolled his top hand over. Now the Mets lead 65. They want more. Along the right field line. That's falling. That is a fair ball. Coming around third to score is Nady. Chavez from third. Valentin from second. Woodward from first. There they go. In the wind. Deep left center, way back, gone! Another grand slam! Two grand slams in the inning for the New York Mets. Beltran circles the bases with the second of them. And now it is a nine-run inning. 11-5 to five Mets. Now that has not often happened in the history of baseball. David Wright nominated in this year's SB for best play. Remember that bareheaded catch he made. Up in the wind. That one is on its way. Goodbye. And everybody's doing it. David Wright with an opposite field home run. His second hit of the inning. That is the third home run of the inning. The first of them where the bases weren't loaded and 11 runs have scored in the inning. 13 to 5 Mets. David Wright's 21st home run. 76 and 77 RBIs and the fans are not happy. One swing could win it for New York.
at the beginning of this game about this potentially being an MVP showdown. For most of the night, it belonged to Pujols. The last shot belonged to Beltron. Well, 0 for 4 on the night and being very quiet, but gets the game-winning two-run shot and says, hey, I'm a candidate, too. And you talk about an emphatic jump on home plate. He's got hops. Wow. And he's got a smile <laughs> that was never seen in 2005, but has been off witnessed in 2006. 2-2 two -two to right. Into the air to center field. Damon going back to the warning track. It's over his head and the Mets win it. Damon Wright with the walk-off hit in the bottom of the ninth off Mariano Rivera. And the Mets have taken game one from the Yankees, 7-6. A great hit, redemption for right for the other night in St. Louis. And we talked about, well, you talked about Gary, Johnny Damon playing shallow because he doesn't have that good of an arm, but he wasn't able to go back on the ball as well because he has that sore foot. Both things lead to a hit for the Mets and a win. A tremendous win for the Mets tonight as Paul LaDuca races home with a winning run on David White's walk-off hit. Second walk-off hit for right this season. And the Mets win it 7-6. To, to left field. Floyd. And after running left shot over the National League, the Mets have a title to show for it. 2006 National League East Champions. And here's how it ended.